Hi guys, here we are at the Barking Dog and we're with uh, Debbie, the uh, owner of the Barking Dog. And uh, I just want to ask Debbie a few questions. Uh, Debbie, what do you do here? What do I do? I, I'm an artist, I'm a painter, furniture painter. Um, what else do I do? I do a little bit of everything. How do you I customize pieces for people that are destined for the landfill. Yeah, and how did you get started here? Um, redoing pieces for my own home and people saw them and wanted their own twist on their own furniture. Okay, so most of the pieces are destined for the landfill and you thought that uh, what a waste for them to go to the landfill and you thought there's some cool things around my home that people would just love to have. Yeah, yeah. So I opened a store and here we are a year and a half later. It's going great. Beautiful store. Thank you. And what are some of the hardships that you went through or what, what did it take to get here? What did it take? Uh, long days, long nights. Uh, I worked a second job. So long nights, long days. <laughs> yeah. Uh, a lot of hard work. So hard work as usual. Hard work. Um, you have a partner that you I do. Yeah. I do. Uh, Randy, he helps me build and fix a lot of pieces that come in that are broken. Okay. Uh, mostly works with wood, you were saying? Yeah, mostly works with wood. Actually, always works with wood. Yeah. Yeah, he's a pretty handy guy. Um, yeah. Uh, we have two dogs that are always running around in here. Is that here. why you call it the Barking Dog? That's why it's called the Barking I Dog. I saw the picture on the website. They're yeah. cute. Yeah. yeah, that's why it's called the Barking Dog. Molly or something? Molly and Gracie. Molly and Gracie, yeah. yeah. And what do you do? You have a studio here as well as it's a store. So yeah. the studio is uh, repairing furniture? Repairing and painting furniture for people that just don't want to get rid of their grandmothers or their mothers prize possession. Okay, so well, basically what we do is we have a uh, some furniture that is redesigned, uh, your old furniture, and you can bring it in and instead of like throwing it out uh, or just thinking you can't do anything with it, um, Debbie will take in your furniture and she'll repaint it with this uh, great paint, make it look new or old, you know, however you want to do it. Yeah. And uh, you also have classes. That I also teach classes on Tuesdays, Tuesday nights, uh, six to nine. Yes. Come in, learn how to do it yourself. I can't wait to do that class. Yeah. You, know, you have a nice piece. Yeah. Yeah. It will be fun. And if you were giving some advice to someone who's starting up a shop or something to do with what you do, what would you like to say? A lot of research. Research your area that you're going in. Research the size. What else can you do? Don't just jump into it not knowing what you're going into. Um, just a lot of research okay. on what's around your area. That's a good tip. You know, I recently learned that one too myself. Research is uh, half the battle, then you just kind of fill in the blanks after. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then it all falls into place. Okay. Well, thanks for your time, Debbie. Yeah. Thank and, you. Uh, you're a gem. Thanks. You're welcome.